Hello there and welcome back to yet another episode. So it seems this is finally an episode where we don't start with a bit of a drought or bad tide event. I mean, there's still a few hours to go. We have chose to start this episode in the middle of the night, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty certain we'll be, we'll be fine. Oh dear, we've got some flooding issues here, it seems. Okay, so a couple of things have happened. I have done a little bit of work between the episodes just to figure out the more tedious things and uh, how shall we proceed with the with the episode as well so first one um yeah so this canal over here has changed the the angle before it was running straight into here and it was always a bit of bit of risky because it could contaminate our pool over there so i decided to face it in an opposite or different direction and uh, then we have another layer of gates as well just to make sure that none of that bad water flows back in here and that is linked to to this stream gauge over there which i think is now causing us some issues essentially what we are doing here we're saying okay if the water level is too high open these gates as you can see to the 0.5 was it where are we again 0.5 why don't we open it all the way down okay here we go and then if the water level gets um gets a little too low in this area that's when we should close those gates again so i just set it up like a few minutes ago and i just want to see how it goes because oh dear okay yep it's definitely causing us some problems already uh we'll, we'll let it run for a little bit i mean i don't mind these areas being flooded every few minutes you're flowing through this area okay so that's fine and then the top area is a little bit more complete now as well. You can probably go. I do want to change it all into, into floodgates, actually. And the reason is pretty simple. I just want to control them all at the same time with the same settings, at least for the, for the time being. Okay, now don't mind the flood. I think we have to do some changes with the settings over here. So what? Are, hmm, how about we do like 85 here and 70... 74 maybe that's gonna help us a little bit a little bit better okay let's take a look at the colony as well notifications we've got a few injured beavers and that's probably coming from the metal mining station or the or the scrap metal now we have built up a bit of a stockpile so we should head over very shortly but before we do we do have extra storages of logs here as well so 5.3 is the max we can have in the in the bank right now so that's uh that's pretty lovely yeah as you can remember or if you can remember, in uh, one of the previous episodes, we were getting a little bit worried that we might run out of logs. So, to make sure that things and trees keep growing here, well, just the trees, no things, hopefully, then we've uh, created, uh, based on your suggestions as well, we, we've done a 3x3 tank over here. And uh, I think it's also, oh yeah, it's a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. It's three levels deep as well, because we've got one of those stream cages hidden over here. And uh, yeah, just trying to keep all those oak trees as fresh as possible. Okay, and to top it off, we've done a bit of an X or a plus sign. It depends which angle you're looking at it from. And um, so they can, yeah, still access everywhere. We brought the forester up here as well to create us some a more green space. And um, yeah, then an automated fluid dump as well. Uh, moving over, we've tried to expand the farm or the forestry just a little bit. And it seems this water dump has kicked into action as well okay now so this area is pretty much explained why don't we look over here as well so quite a big operation that's happening here oh no those floods are yeah they're not working out too well but okay um we have tons of foresters here and all those day trees look pretty sad so what i have done i've gone around with the with the tool over here to mark those trees for um sort of uh, regrowth, I guess. And um, be, with uh, with the help of a few, oh, you should probably get to work as well, there we go. With the help of a few foresters, we are replanting this whole area. Now, this seems to be a bit volatile, so why don't we close you off for a little bit. And the same thing over here, just another three foresters and, okay, what else do we have? Oh, this tank did get a little dirty, I think. So we've got a few bumps over here, and it seems we are filling up those tanks pretty quickly. Okay, we do want to work on this area in this episode as well, but just very quickly, let's have a look over here. We're building those platforms, or, well, as, as far as we can. And the, the idea is what I think Megatron or someone else mentioned this before as well. 
that we could build up or like a levee wall around those water sources and then based on the season we can control or decide where this water should go so if it's bad water maybe we'll direct it to the middle and then off the map or maybe if there's too much water coming in from the or during the bad tide then we can go uh, directly out from here and then if it's the sort of like a normal wet season then we'll figure out a different release i guess it's kind of like what we have done with our water system up here so if it's bad water we'll let it off the map and if it's clean water these gates will drop it down okay let's move over once again so yeah we can do it both well we'll have to do it on the both areas and that will be very interesting because i would very much love to have some more mangrove fruit growing in this area as well talking about mangrove fruit i think yeah we do need another beaver in the operations i'll build another flag here as well because yeah hmm, there's, there's quite a few trees to to harvest here so so let's do that okay moving over let's have a look the same over here trees are being replanted and we are starting to create a bit of a forestry area now what i would like to do over here i do want to create this kind of like a mountain lake but also to green up this space in here a little bit just a tiny bit i don't want to take over everything and i think in the future i might turn them into natural tiles instead maybe I guess we we shall see so um few things to sort of figure out over here i do like how the the landscape is working or is is placed in here as well we've got the river we've got like little hills little mountain over here i'd like to raise it maybe a little bit as well i do want to have a bit of construction items or, or buildings maybe productions um, yeah i'm not, not entirely sure is what i'm trying to say but i can just foresee a few of those ruins still being green and maybe some bridges going across from different areas as well so why don't we start it step by step since we don't exactly know what we want to do right now i do want this zone to look a little bit more industrial oh yeah definitely let's uh, clean out those trees as well i don't think we we really want to have them still here that means you are going to need to climb down as well not to worry we can do we'll do ladders it's a little bit easier more compact in a way as well and then um, all we need we'll need one of those platforms here and then a water dump or the fluid dump and that should be pretty much it oh dear someone decided to sleep over here yep that's still a problem as well i mean since we do have so many beavers right now i mean we have pushed this pretty pretty far back but we we really need to separate those districts as well all right so the next thing we do want to or what we are thinking about is this zone here we've mentioned it quite a few times already and i'm still not very certain what to do so one of the plans since we may want to save a bit more water i guess if it was hard mode i would definitely already start building a levee wall in here to make and make sure that this whole area is used as a sort of like a water reservoir and then block off any other water coming in here as well and then this corner will be pretty easy just like with our reservoir as well just great different outputs and then uh, yeah just to control the what kind of water goes into this tank so it, it is still an option although i don't know if we desperately need it the other option well sorry with the first one as well if we were to turn it into a reservoir and a tank then i would probably want to raise the island and turn it into a mountain instead but we do need to do quite a bit of terraforming for that now whilst we are designing and i am kind of hoping for your suggestions and ideas as well what we shall do we'll do like a temporary uh, well as temporary as it can get uh coffee farm over here because that's something we haven't had and it's a lovely big area where we could send beavers now the main thing to figure out is which way should they go where is our district gates going to be there so that's a small one this is a big one i guess we could oh that's pretty uh, laggy with the district crossing out it could go somewhere here but i don't think we need the entrance to our new colony to be this side i think that's gonna be more like over here or this road here that's already like a farming and living station so maybe maybe we'll have like a road through the middle here instead 
and this zone might change. I, I don't want to have like table entry sort of thing in here. I mean, before we'd already planned this out a little bit. So if that's the entrance and we want these beavers to go and harvest the coffee, then we can probably create this over here. And as a matter of fact, let's grab the stairs again. If we do it this way, now we don't want to use too many levees in here, right? So let's, um, let's figure this out. Let's do the normal stairs for now. You're going to go down a few levels and maybe a couple more. Okay. I think we we have it. Although it's unfortunate with the wooden stairs, it's gonna not gonna allow us to cross over there. But I, I think we'll be fine. So you're gonna go this way. We might want to climb down yet another way now, don't we? Okay, that means we can do a triple platforms over here, double ones. Now what we could also do, we can grab one of those stairs. Here we go. We could always use bridges over here. So you guys are going to be, let's say, somewhere about here. Now, <laughs> we have 100 points right now, 13,000. Our metal supplies are not the greatest, but the level 3, this could be interesting. We could do one over here. It's not quite even, but it could work. Another one here. This is a crossing area. Okay, let me figure out where exactly we want to place this bridge and we'll be back in a second. All right, so there we go. I think we can keep it pretty simple. We just have to give alternative road or the stairs to climb down to help construct all the platforms. And then we have a couple of bridges in the middle crossing over. I think it should look pretty, pretty lovely and nice. Oh, and another thing, I know there's so many ideas. Another thing we should probably do is definitely bring back the the drains from Dobbert. I really love those drains before as well. And since this map is pretty big, I was thinking, well, if there is a reason, then I shall definitely bring them back. Now, there's no reason to go here, is it? Yeah, so that's, um, like, I don't get me wrong. I do like this uh, mining area that they're all close together. That's fantastic. It's very cool. However, an extra mine could be useful in all of those corners just to force the player to try and expand out a little further and to also appreciate and work with the map a little bit more as well uh, but I guess I, I guess we'll see maybe there is going to be more of a reason further down the road okay we do have the fluid dump finally completed and we are of course going to automate it as well if only we can get you in that corner then that will be fantastic all right so there you go Please do get this one built. We'll give you a slightly higher priority just to make sure it gets done before the water tank overflows with water. Then there we go. It seems things are pretty nice and operational already. We'll link you up as well. I think we wanted to do... Mm. Okay, so what do we have to do here? Pause if it's less... No. I'm going to pause you if you are more than, let's say, 175 and unpause you if you are under 150 okay we'll um, leave you at that for the for the time being now we do have a ton of beavers that are available you've got nothing to do let's get you out from here as well and then the rest of this is spreading out pretty pretty nicely don't need this forest anymore i'm gonna leave them in place because i do want to expand in this area just a little bit more now for some reason we are Oh yeah, I guess they are marked for harvesting. Maybe we do need to start harvesting around this area or actually, never mind. Let's just unharvest or unmark all of these areas so they can rebuild or replant the trees. Okay, so since this area is starting to look a little bit better, something is flooding as well. Oh, that's uh, that's our this system here. It seems like you are still not very, very good at this, are you? So 185 doesn't give us enough time. How about we bring you down just a little bit to 181. And that's where you will open up. Oh yeah, this is very full. Maybe it's these gates over here as well because it's 1.5 right now. How about we just drop them to 1 instead? I mean, technically... Oh, here we go. Here's another bad side in 3 days. Because yeah, I was just about to say technically we don't really need them they're more of a fail safe for us and maybe we should treat them as such for like more manual use everything else seems to be full over here that's looking lovely 
Okay, let's go back to our current ventures. What is the progress over here? Are we doing those ladders? Yeah, I guess they are a little bit slower right now because we don't really have good access just yet. But as soon as these ladders are done, things should start moving a little bit quicker. <laughs> these farms, yeah, they're not the most efficient because we don't have a lot of farming space here. But then again, we can't complain because everything is pretty, pretty full. The storage is, I mean, uh, we should probably empty you out as well because we don't want those logs over here. And then, um, yeah, we'll do a bit more storage, I guess, in... We can do a few in here. Oh dear, okay, we can't place you on that side, can we? Let me just switch this around real quick. It's just a quick temporary. Maybe we'll give you a slightly lower priority. You don't need to rush, but uh, yeah, I just want to start storing some more logs in this zone as well. Because as soon as we disconnect you, that means we're going to have to rely on beavers or just the haulers carrying things around. Uh, but we can be a little bit more prepared by building those log houses. Okay, what about you guys? You are almost done. Not quite. There is at least a whole lot of logs moving into the zone now, so that's good. Uh, 2.4 days before we have to start looking at... I really hope I've done this automation already, but I feel like I have not. Okay, do you need to be connected to anything? No, so when bad tide starts, we're going to drop you at zero. When you end, maybe 0 0.5. That should be fine. There's a bit of fluctuation over here, it seems, as well. And then with you guys, we'll do the same when you start, drop to zero and then 0 0.5. Okay. And then when the trout, uh, I guess we'll, we'll leave the rest for the time being. Let, let's see what happens. I wonder what happens if we were to close this or since we do have, <laughs> are you guys synchronized or closed? Oh, okay, so what we can do, let's connect you with these ones instead. So now we have three gates that will help us move the water or the fluid around. Okay, who is unconnected? That's you guys over here. That's fine. We'll get some platforms done very quickly. Now what I do want to have finished is this section here. Yep, we 100% need all of those platforms done before the tide starts. I think we should be fine. As soon as we get this section done over here, we should be fine. Because this is going to give us the access to everything else as well. Okay, so why don't we give the beavers just a little bit of time to catch up with the construction here. And we'll be back as soon as, well, I guess when the tide starts. Alright, so there we go. The bad tide is arriving very quickly. And it is time to see if we have messed up anywhere. So first of all, do we have... Okay, so you're still letting water through. I was really hoping you guys would close as well, but okay, let's give it another second. I believe... Okay, the most important ones are open and closed, so that's good. Alright, so that tank is safe. Are you still letting water through as well? No, you are not. And that is all closed as well. Okay, great. Nothing is going through. That one's closed. You are open let's just make sure we're not allowing water through this zone here we are okay we should definitely close them and here as well so that is oh yeah that's gonna remain open actually because the water level isn't low enough the depth currently is 180 okay let's have a quick look let's make sure so low threshold is one how about if we bring you back to Something like so. And if we were to let a little bit more water through. Those gates should now be closed. Okay, so that's fine. Yep, let's leave you at that. That's uh, important, but not the most important part. You guys are all... Nothing's flooding. Yeah, I'm just checking for floods, really. That's already messed up over here. Which means we're not going to be able to plant anything. But at least we are getting... The uh, suspension bridges in. Okay. Lovely. Our next things that began to, because everything's going to become a little bit useless over here. I don't want to send the beavers into the water to construct anything. However, what we can do, I believe they can still go to the other side and start cleaning up this area. I mean, we can also pencil in sort of like the areas where we do want to 
place those levees. I don't think they'll be able to climb down here. So yeah, that's definitely something we can do. However, what we should start building here, we should start preparing our, our production. The food production, I mean. So hydroponic garden, that's definitely something that looks like it's very interesting. I don't know if it passes through any of the electricity. However, if we move things around... No, that's going to be raw resource, resources and they should go... don't quite want to build it here because this. Um, I do want to ensure that we can pass the electricity up and down as well. I, I do want to have some levels in here. So bottom layers, yeah, production or storage. So I think it should be fine if we move you over. Oh, I am sorry, but you're going to have to go a little bit. Okay. Yes to you. And then recipe, we can do mushrooms and algae. Okay, so that's looking very interesting. I mean, it would have been great to leave some space in here as well, but... Or the trees. I mean, we can still probably do it. But I think for the time being, we... I'm very sorry, but we're going to have to take out some of these, uh, these things. Okay, and since no one really needs to go here, maybe this can be like a closed off area. Or this way we can do, yeah, so what, I'm, what I mean is maybe we can have the stairs to climb up and down. Yeah, so maybe not like direct road access from the, from the street level. But we could still, oh yeah, everything's starting to die now. Oh, hold on a second. We do need to pause a few buildings now, don't we? You guys should definitely get out from there, out here. Almost forgot about it. So we have one unwell beaver. That is okay. And the rest of it is going to die anytime soon as well. So, okay, fine. We're going to try and construct the, the hydroponic garden. We do have access to this island. So that's fantastic. Five days of five days of the, of the tide. So that's unfortunate. We won't be able to plant some coffee here just yet. But we'll definitely get it done in the next episode. So, um... Let's try and figure this one out here real quick for the, for the time being. Yep, we're going to do road access. I know I said we won't, but it's just to figure out how we want to place things for, for the time being. Now, to pass the power through, we might have to... Uh, hold on a second. Let's just pause you for a second. Uh, <laughs> so, it might be a little bit tricky. Right, yeah, I think we're going to move things over just a, a little bit. Okay, that should be fine. This way we can still have the power move through this area. And, uh, I mean, we could maybe do some platforms in here to make sure that the production areas are not going to be flooded just in case. And then we can do mushrooms on one side, algae on the other, and maybe a couple more in here. But let's just see how it goes. Okay, so the most important production ones we are going to need are the fermenter. Oh yeah, oil press would be useful as well, unless we import the oil from the other district. Probably do that. Ferment all this stuff up over here. How many levels up do we want to go? This one isn't going to be useful. Okay, let's just do... Fine. Platforms over here. And then... Fermenter again. So if we want to do a slightly a slightly higher stack over here, that's uh, that's not a problem. We can still do it in the future just by moving a few things around. So you can go on top of that one as well. Pass some of that. Oh, we don't need this road here anymore now, do we? Yeah, pass some of that power through. And then ladder, roads. And we could probably do another mentor over there as well yeah okay so that's how we are gonna get started our next buildings that we will build here it's not the oil press but we are gonna do some oil or the food factories as well and these ones might actually be better to place on top of top of these buildings oh yeah so we can maybe we should yeah really just fill this area with the hydroponic gardens bring the power up from here hmm options so many different ways how we could build and do this zone i guess what i'll have to probably do is just play around with uh with some options for design and try and squeeze in as many as we can but at the same time i don't want to make it overcrowded as well it is a town center but it is a small small district for us small but very important 
I mean, in the future, what might happen is maybe the town center with the Piva Venice is actually going to be somewhere here instead. So yeah, that's going to have a small but a very important role to play in our in our colony. But okay, I think that's going to be it for this episode. We are going to carry on with our production developments in the next one. I think we had some pretty good progress. And yeah, in the future, definitely want to get rid of this all this red water over here. Just like how we've managed to do it in, in the main colony. I'd like to do the same now in our farming district as well and bring some coffee for the beavers because who don't like some coffee or tea when they wake up so uh, let's get that sorted in the next episode. In the meanwhile thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon.